Hi all, today we're going to read Proverbs 19.21. We're going to take this from the New International Version. It says here, Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. Let me say that again. Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. You know this is um, this is powerful right here because uh, and 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 it's some sort of uh, uh, relief, you know. Uh, especially uh, it is actually a promise that tells us that it is actually God's purpose. It is actually God's plan that that always prevails. That is that is uh, that is a, a reason for us to to be relieved, especially for us who are really wanting to have our best lives now. For those who, of us who are believing uh, to to receive from God. Uh, uh, a maximized kind of life and and it says here many are the plans in a man's heart you know human tendency is this sometimes we come up with our own plans sometimes we want this we we aim for this we go for this and then we we come up with our own plans but uh, you and I both know that even if you come up with with your best plan uh, a plan that comes out from your heart or from your mind you and I both know that that God's plan is always will always be better than your plans. So praise God because it says here that it is God's plan that will always prevail. This means that um, He will not allow uh, that best plan uh, to not happen. In our life. He will do everything in His power for that great plan to happen in our lives. Um, one verse in the Bible says that God's plan for us is to prosper us and not to harm us, plan to give us a hope and a future. And then he says right here in this verse that it is the Lord's plan, the Lord's purpose that will always prevail. And that means that God will use everything in His power to make sure uh, that that maximized life, that great life, that great plan um, will be, uh, will happen, will come to pass in our lives. This means that there will be moments when God has to close doors and open new doors in our lives. Um, sometimes there will be moments when uh, you get turned down uh, simply because uh, that's not the way to God's plan. He has a better plan. Uh, sometimes you will experience um, being left behind by another person because that person is not God's plan. There is another person who is better, uh, who is actually part of uh, the best plan of God for your life. Sometimes God will just show you the thumbs down sign uh, saying no. Sometimes God says no uh, because uh, He wants to save you from receiving what is not best. So here's the key all. Uh, when God closes a door, you know, just, just praise Him all the more because that means that He's working in your life and he, He's working, he's, he's working His heart out. He's using his power so that you'd actually uh, not end up with with uh, the wrong job, wrong person, or uh, wrong thing. Uh, praise him when he shows you the thumbs down sign because when he says no, sometimes that means I'm saving you from, from, from you not receiving the best. So in everything, praise him. Whether you get a, a yes sign or a no sign, it's always all good for us who trust the Lord. When when God says yes, that means you hit the nail right on its head. You're praying for the right thing, for the right job, right right opportunity, right person. But when He says no, it means that He's saving you from not receiving His best plan. And then sometimes He says wait. Sometimes God says, you know, you're praying for the right thing, but you just have to wait. So in everything, y'all, just give thanks unto God. And praise God for this verse today. Many are the plans that will come out from our hearts, from our minds. But praise God for us who love Him and honor Him. It is His purpose. Especially for us who obey. It is His purpose that will always prevail. There you have it, Road Chipper. I hope you learned something today. God bless you. Have a good one.